I think the next question would be about vocabulary uh, and how to practice new words or new phrases more effectively. And of course, it's a very popular question because many people are trying to learn vocabulary. And let me just start with uh, my understanding of what we shouldn't be doing. So it's very easy to define what we shouldn't be doing. And okay. the stuff we shouldn't be doing is a typical experience of a language learner in English learning class. Okay. Because in English learning class, what people are actually doing, they're just reciting new words without any context at all. So like the teacher is saying, okay, so let's try passive voice today. Okay, so like uh, I, yeah, uh, like uh, something is busy, the line is busy. Okay, everyone repeats, the line was busy. Okay, and, and then what? <laughs> so no one even thinks about the context, no one even thinks about the usage situation, but people just keep reciting new uh, phrases and that, in my personal opinion, that leads absolutely nowhere because we won't be able to remember it, we won't be able to use it, they're just doing it just because they're supposed to, but no one, no one actually helps them, no one guides them on how they actually need to start using that vocabulary. Yeah. I think this is a tough one actually, I mean, because mm -hmm. most of the time we're talking about a situation where non-native speakers will not have mm -hmm. someone to help yeah. them along in creating the context. Mm -hmm. Because what, what will be a very effective way of learning something like new one, a new phrase or new words? You need to see it being used. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you want to learn a new phrase, then the easiest way is to see someone using it in a particular situation or a yeah. new word, right? It's like, uh, you know, you're like, say, for example, in project management, there are a lot of terminologies. Mm -hmm. And as you go through, try to run a project yourself, then you are going to constantly hear these words being used and these phrases being yeah. used. And very soon that becomes part of you. You start to yeah. naturally, you naturally start to get it by osmosis. But uh -huh. if all you do is here's a book about project management, Here's all the terms and phrases, and you're trying to you and just dump it to you. Now you now you you basically starting to memorize them. And when you try to memorize them, then you're going to start to run into a situation of saying, "Okay, I memorize them, but I have no idea how to apply them." Mm -hmm. And you can try to apply them, but chances are you apply them in the wrong context. Mm -hmm. And that's somewhat okay. I mean, it's better to, it's better to apply wrong. Then not to apply. Mm -hmm. But to me, I think the most effective way of actually seeing things being used, I mean, to really learn something effectively is to see it being used. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. See it being used by someone else that will use it in a particular context. And this is where immersion, this is where interaction, and you know even just uh multiple senses helps so for example yeah. you see me using the words of uh, deadline you see me mm -hmm. using words of due date you see me using words you know of schedule plans and whatever and just mm -hmm. by the fact that i'm talking to you even in the, even if you never use those words before you know but because of the fact yeah. that we're working in the same context very mm -hmm. soon you pick up how to use those words without you having mm -hmm. to try to learn those things yep. yourself yep. right you don't have to go read the formal the formal definitions of those words trying to use them mm -hmm. but yep. if the but the other way around is a lot harder you're reading a bunch of formal definitions and but you still cannot know how to you still have difficulty to know how to apply them until you try to apply them so mm -hmm. so it's more of a it's you know so kind of to me it speaks to two principles one is the, the principle of use. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like uh, um, if you want to learn how to swim, you have to jump into the water. Yeah. You cannot read it in the book, right? And second is yeah. the principle of guidance. So basically, if you have someone leading the way for you, then your work uh, becomes a lot. E, you know, a lot less, easier, easier. Mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. but if you do not have either, then you have to you have to prioritize uh, principle of use. Basically, yeah. you have to try to make sure you use it and overcome mm-hmm. what we have previously talked about the fear and those type of things, and try mm-hmm. to you know try to define the context. But you kind of had to fumble a little bit in many mm-hmm. ways when you, you know, yeah. without those things. So I think it's again a question of goals because uh, once you set up a good goal for yourself, once you are able to follow uh, the, the you you see the destination and you know what what can bring you to the destination. I think it will be easier for you to actually to select the right tools to to find that uh, principles and basically to, to get guidance from other people because the other people other people of course can help you but uh, the most important factor is that no one will actually answer that question for you unless you start answering it yourself and then mm-hmm. other people will help you to, to get closer to the answer but never they will never like just transform some knowledge uh, almost like download or up- upload it into your, into your brain it's not possible so right i, think, I mean uh, even when we're yeah. t- dealing with the uh, project management right it's like you know the only way the best way for you for anybody to learn it is to mm-hmm. try to run a project right yeah. yeah and then when you run a project then you have questions then when you have questions mm-hmm. then you can get answered but in order yeah. to have those questions you have to run a project otherwise reading a book mm-hmm. Oh, everything makes sense. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. Now I know how to yeah. run the project. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, I, I'm reading. A, I'm reading a technology book. By the time I'm reading it, I'm a programmer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can imagine. It's not. It's not gonna work. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, we're talking about usage again. We're talking about guidance, but uh, I would again emphasize that uh, it's not that. People are transforming their knowledge into your head, but you are you're actually learning these things as you go, and mm-hmm. other people are only helping you as long as you start ask, asking questions. I th- uh, the way that I think how... about it is like this. Mm-hmm. There is no teaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is mm-hmm. only learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In other words, teacher, Kenny give you information but you have mm-hmm. to take it in yeah you have to make yeah. it yours so so that's i you know i whenever i see anybody who has difficulty learning i always say that uh you know mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what teacher it is you have to make sure that you yeah. learn it basically yeah so yeah that's true okay okay yeah all right <laughs>